Welcome back. Now in this video we're going to be talking about sales funnel theory and the fundamentals that we'll be assuming. Welcome back. Now in this video we're going to be talking about sales funnel theory and the assumptions we're going to be making as we go throughout the rest of the course. There are two key elements to remember when creating your front end offer as well as your series of upsells. First, you need to consider determining your sales funnel before you actually create the product. This will help you to answer the right questions in your front end product with an eye toward what you will create for the back end. Second, you need to make sure to stick with the same theme throughout your product funnel. This will keep the buyer in the right frame of mind once they purchase the front end product. For example, if you're solving a problem with webinars, then your upsell should focus not only on the word webinars, but also solve the same problem. Your first concern should be how you're going to sell the product. So the front end product should solve a primary need. And in some cases, you may need to split that product into two pieces, one in the front end, one in the back end. So the basic level will be for most users which is the solution that has the most mass appeal. The advanced section should be for more serious users and that's what your upsell will go into. Now the front end offer should have mass appeal and is designed to get the maximum number of people through the front door. So you need to have a lot of value to solve that primary problem. So then the key to transitioning to creating an upsell is that the entire sales funnel should be linked together. And when you're doing that linking, when you start creating upsells, the upsell should actually enhance the user's experience. It should bring them closer to their dream or solving their problem. It should make solving the problem easier by enhancing what they already picked up on the front end. And it should take them to the next level that the front end product actually takes them to. For example, a typical upsell would be a template based solution. So where you explained how to do something in the front end you're going to actually give them templates that they can fill in the blanks and get started right away. A second offer, so in some cases where you are selling perhaps PLR where their primary motive is to generate profit with the front end, you can give them another offer to double their profit. You can give them an automated solution, so where in the front end you taught them how to solve a problem and then in the back end you give them some kind of automated or software solution that will help them to speed up the process. Whatever your topic is, you want to stay on the message throughout the funnel. The message of the overall concept should stay the same. And it has to be related to the front end when you're creating an upsell. So don't try to change their minds. Don't try to get them to think differently about the solution that you're presenting in the front end. If they had a mindset when they entered the funnel or they purchased the first product, you need to keep them in that mind frame. Keep them in the mind frame of trying to solve the problem that you invited them to solve by purchasing your front end product. And you have to also understand that the JVs pre-sold your front end. So they've already told them and put people in the mindset of solving the problem. So you do best with your funnel by keeping people in that same mindset with your upsell. So whatever your front end product actually solved and did, your upsell should be tightly related in solving the same problem or helping them to get to the same goal. And those are the assumptions that you want to make as we go through creating the various elements of your sales funnel and making sure that all the gaps are plugged. You need to make sure that your funnel is structured correctly and that it is structured theoretically sound so that people will actually purchase what it is that you put together on the page. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.